the jab relatively early, squares his shoulders, and throws power punches. Marco Antonio Barrera is a conventional fighter, but by far he's moving away from you. And the Prince has got to show, come out of his trick bag and make the boxing, not just wading in, gets to the body, wobbles nails with a left hook upstairs. Spots. It's a very interesting choice of fight plans by Barrera, and he's making up hooks upstairs and a couple of shots to the body. Naz has a hoop. <laughs> Round one is all Barrera. So bad that he looks to be affected by every power punch. Perhaps the corner it may not be able to give advice. You got to work on his. And he can see the mouse under Naz's right eye. As George pointed it out. Go lunging out there. <laughs> of the Cesar Soto bout in Detroit. Have you ever seen a police officer put his hand on a fighter during a fight, George? I don't think I've seen there. that before. Finally coming into the ring. Hard left hand by Prince Nassim, countering Barrera inside. The Prince is the aggressor. Right hand on the left by Barrera. So this early. And Barrera countering him. I think the big complaint is that he made the made him wait for a long time in that dressing room. And he's unsteady about it. Well, Stewart said perfect when he came back to the corner. For Nassim's power that Barrera is fighting the way he is. He's more effective as a counterpuncher rather than taking the lead. Stands in front of you with his hands down and his neck up. Why? Wow, what are you waiting on? It's Nassim, or at least seems to. yet. Herrera lands a jab. Prince Nassim. Well, he's got enormous reflexes, and he's getting hit. He said, you stood still and he hit you. Don't do that. Harold, how do you have it through three? Yeah, Brer is doing in this fight is this. He's moving to the left to stay outside of the from that left hand. <laughs> Big left hand by Herrera inside. Stuns Prince Nassim. Box is doing He hasn't got in one position yet. Ooh. He recovers real good. Barrera goes to the body. Every round, Barrera should send him to the corner and hurt her. Then he doesn't follow up when he lands a good shot. In the last round, Barrera glory for his punching power, and justifiably so off his record. But if any fighter... As with a quick combination there. Barrera focusing his eyes on the middle of Prince Nassim's chest. This is gone. <coughs> Big left hand by Prince Nassim. You know he was right in the pocket that time. If this keeps going this way, you've lost your championship. Not only so, he made up like he's doing more damage to you. Rather than saying, there you are. But there it is. The head is too straight up. The head was up. Barrera landed because Barrera was convincing about the notion that he lands the better. He has Herrera. Harold, how do you have it through six? Look at Jim, I got it going back and forth. 57, 57, three rounds apiece. I'm not going to tell you a break. Behind in the fight, Harold Letterman has it even. In round six by CompuBox number. He starts fighting. That's what Barrera is doing. He's pacing himself. Barrera with a right to the belly and a left upstairs. As Grin. That's what you want a solid fighter like Bar Barrera doing. Clowning with a clown. Big Don't... right hand to the body again by Barrera. Those shots on top is not going to do it with Barrera. He's going to have to climb it, bring it down, close to the chin. I wonder what he's thinking now. Hard shot with the left. They haven't been able to get square in the middle yet, but he's starting to pick up the power. Nose with some royal blood. Couple of left jabs onto the royal chin. Round seven, it appears, at least our eyes, to fight a little bit. We may have given misinformed in that round. Left hand partially blocked. Whoa. One landed solidly. And a right to the jab. Naz stalking and trying to land that left 
foot. Counterpunch for three, and he's in business. Shot with a shot. One, one combination to press up. He comes back. Astral of Barrera. The corner's been doing a good job with Barrera. Laura trying to distract Barrera. Fat chance. Fighters. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Okay, six to three, 87, 84. Marco Antonio Barrera really winning this fight the last four rounds. He's thrown the left hand, but he hasn't thrown anything with it. He's missed it. As he just did, things can change, but he's going for one to get it done here. There's a big left hand. Barrera covering up. Barrera's playing possum. He's There's a hard right and Barrera comes back with two left hand shots. Can you? The Prince still going for one point at a time. Ten rounds in the books. Left for Prince Nassim Hamad to try to rescue his unbeaten record and his superstars. and I have told him as such. But see, even though, I don't think he's ever been hurt in a fight, but when he gets hit, his head is off to your finish. And he seems to be very focused and very well trained for Naz. Naz has got to try to land a big knockout punch, even at the risk of knockout himself. Thank you. And in round, well, Stewart just quoted to you, it is Marco Antonio Barrera's aggression to turn it against him. Naz will not come back with any shot. Huge the right hand by shot. Barrera. And the English crowd is seated and quiet. Short left hand right, inside bring on, bring by Hamad landed. And I tell you, I, I think the secret is he stayed away from the Prince's big power and he landed the better shots. Look at the right hand by Barrera. He's, he's not taking that advice. He's going for it. He's been on the wrong side of at least one through the sky. is trying to figure out how can he get in one has already shown with his chin one left hand won't do it that's true too much one point. and a point deduction from barrera unusual for a veteran fighter to has one to touch in that gloves. position barrera didn't want to touch big left hook by barrera fighter would listen before the fight and if he loses, it's because it has been written by Allah. Has turned into an hour of torture. <laughs> Tremendous celebration in Barrera's corner. And Prince Nassim. Marco Antonio.